What's going on, Jabari? How are you? Pretty good. How are you, Sean? I'm doing good, sir. Um, how um, how are you feeling coming into this camp, just both physically, mentally, as kind of things are getting underway with the level of competition uh, physically right now as, as you guys near that first preseason game? Yeah. Camp is a blessing, being able to run, being able to be on the team, and the whole dynamic of our country is kind of kind of like odd. So I'm very appreciative that we get a chance to be together and have as many guys on the court as possible. And leading up to camp, I've made sure that I stay in some type of shape and it's been real good for me so far. Is it, uh, I mean, we can't obviously see what you guys are doing. We've got guys kind of raving about you already, but um, kind of be our eyes in there. What what do you kind of make of just the, the talent that's on the floor, the level of competition and just the environment that's in there? Yeah, just creating a good environment where we're competing and getting each other better. And that's the main objective is we just have to push through, trying to push as hard as we can to get our legs underneath us. But most importantly, just to, to compete. And it's real nice how our attitudes and where we're going right now is, is, it, is that a good, good space right now. Jason Jones? How you doing, Jabari? Hey, what's up? Not uh, much. Uh, First thing I want to ask you about was back in Orlando when you guys played the Magic, when Jonathan Isaac got hurt, someone said that you had went and checked on Jonathan after that. I want to know kind of if that was accurate, and if so, what kind of led you to do that? Yeah, man, injuries is is very unfortunate. And for me, I kind of knew that he had a history of knee of a knee issue leading up to the game. And it was unfortunate just to see that movement and it just brought back bad memories. And I was trying to play back a time where I was hurt and I was just in, in, a, in a very shock and uncomfortable. So I wanted to be there for him to support him because Jonathan is a, is a human being at the end of the day, even though we're on different teams, I still acknowledge the person that he is. So I tried to play as much as a, as a comfort for him during that time and I just want to have a, a good relationship to tell him that he's going to be good and he's going to be all right. And how did he respond to that? I mean, did you know him prior and well prior to that? I always respected him. I always said hi to him. Didn't have a personal relationship. And he took it, he took it very good. He's in good, he was in good spirits. And obviously it's, it's very uncertain. Everybody's in fear, but I think that he has a, a great faith in himself. Hey, Jabari, good to see you, man. <clears throat> good to see you, too. Hey, um, yeah, so we have heard that, that, you know, you've looked really good in, in camp so far. Um, and you look like you're in uh, – you look like you've done some work over the, the off season on your body. What Can you give us an idea of what you were doing and um, what the effect was in terms of – whether it was weight loss or, or muscle gain or whatever, you know, whatever kind of a program you were on these last few months? Uh, just to try to stay active, I would say that I've been pretty consistent. It's just for me, I'm Polynesian. And, you know, Polynesian body types aren't like typical skinny african American, you know, my other side. So I just try my best. Don't try to get as stressed and just, just do the best that I can. But, you know, basketball is, is, a, is a great thing for me, and that's what I've been doing is just trying to stay on the court and trying to enjoy the game while I'm, while I'm ahead and while I'm here. Uh, do you feel – have you slimmed down? Uh, do you feel slimmer? And, and is it – how does that impact your game and the way you, you play the game? You know what? I don't focus on the number. You know, as much as people want to focus on the number, I would say you have to live a healthy lifestyle and then the rest to take care of yourself because you can't be too high, can't be too low. And that's how I treat myself and try to reinforce positivity. Um, I've, obviously, I've cut out a lot of sugars throughout the years. You know, I've been a lot better and mature about that. And right now, it's just trying to keep my body in a, in a, in a comfortable position. Hey, Jabari, obviously uh, <clears throat> it's tough to adjust to any team. Uh, 
terms of uh, changing teams in the middle of a season. So that, that takes time. And obviously it took you a while before you were able to play with the Kings last time. And now to kind of come in uh, and, and be raved about the way you are, have you figured out what you want your role on this team to be? I mean, in talking to the coaches, do you, do you see how you fit in and what you're trying to do as an individual to get to, to where you want to be? Yeah, I have a lot to offer for, for any team that I'm on. And it's just being able to put myself out there. And once I get out there, everything else is curtains right there. Like if I get that opportunity, I got to take the, the, the most out of it and be confident. So I would say just be prepared, whatever coach need for me, be willing to do that. If it's playing five minutes, if it's playing 30 minutes, I have to keep that mentality because I can't be, I can't be broken down mentally. That's what my father always told me. And no matter what team I'm on, hey, I can play on all teams in the NBA. I still look at it as a blessing. And I'm fortunate enough to play the game I love and to build these experiences. Is there a big difference in your eyes and your performance level right now versus the last time we saw you in the bubble in a game? I mean, can you see the difference or do you feel the difference at all? I can't really, I can't really feel the difference. I want to say that it's all mental. And if I just continue to, to keep myself even keel and not, not focus on the distractions, then I'll be in a good position. And that just takes maturity on myself. And that's what I'm working on is just the mental aspect. But the basketball part is easy. Just the mental part is the, is the most difficult. Pleasure to speak with you, Jabari. Pleasure is mine. So this is a unique contract year for you, of course, with the shortened season and COVID and things of that nature. But Sacramento is obviously under a bit of a transition to now there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of different players. Uh, what specifically went into you choosing to return uh, to Sacramento? Well, I just had a good relationship with Luke and pretty much it's easier when you start off with a team that has known you. It's hard when you come out of nowhere and they already had their philosophy. So I, I knew that starting off with a team was going to be very important. And that's all I cared about. Um, money is my least of my worries because I don't submit to, to money as the master that I serve. I, I just focus on good energies and just being a good person and just trying to milk the, my talent as the most as I can. So... And with that being said, what about your your view on potentially your long term fit here? The Kings are, are trending younger, younger. You still feel you have plenty to give, of course. What do you think about Sacramento as a, a home beyond this season? Yeah, Sacramento is a great place. They have a great organization, good people, and just trying to just trying to fit there. And if I can't, then that's no worries. And I know that it'll be other opportunity out there for me, but just trying to stay in a good mind frame, trying to stay positive and whatever they need out of me, I got to give it to them. And out of myself, I got to give it to myself too. Yes, uh, Jabari, I just want to get your idea of what you see out of these young players. I'm not repeating uh, the question. I know Tyler, he's from your area. Um, north of uh, Chicago, just across the uh, Illinois-Wisconsin line. Uh, what's your thoughts about him and, and the other young players that you see coming out on the court? Yeah, I see a lot of a great talent from the younger groups, even though like we still kind of like in the same age range. But I think that it's a lot of potential there, and they have a lot of good feel for the game. And it's just a matter of just – adding that experience to it. It's going to take some time, like every everybody, but it's just their responsibility to just stick with it and and they can go as far as they want to. And it's, it's really good. It's really good to see them. You have any uh, rookie initiations uh, for the new players that are coming in the league? You know what? I always missed out on rookie hazing just because it felt a little uncomfortable for me because we're so close in age, but... I just leave that to the people older than me to 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 do all that stuff. Hi, Jabari. How's it going? Hey, pretty good. Uh, how would you describe the flow on offense so far? I know uh, your teammates have been raving about you. So how how have you how would you describe the the, the feel? It's a good feel, but 
we're just trying to perfect the, the game that we want to play and the style that we want to play. And that's really going to show on Sunday. And it's just going to take time. You know, new role, new, new philosophy. And we're just going to have to get prepared and ready. All right, thank you. Thank you.